is it, uh, let's see what you want to spend some time with. There was that, maybe that whole thing about the lack of joy at the moment. Is mm-hmm. that what you want to Yeah, I, Yeah, I think the, the lack of joy um, and I guess a sustainable happiness or contentment. Um, and maybe I'm sort of seeing the you know, the ups and downs of, like, when you're sad or really joyful, but it just feels, I, I, yeah, I want to enjoy more Mm -hmm. and, um, Mm -hmm. and not feel, um, I guess it feels, like, weighty right now. Mm -hmm. Just weighty right now, just, like, at this phase of life or, like, when, when, yeah, it feels, I mean, I used to be more sort of optimistic mm. and just being able to, you know, get, sort of get through things or push through things. Um, and I just realized my optimism is just, is just not, I, I can't, I can't <laughs> like sort of turn, mm. it's not there as much. Mm-hmm. And um, I think, you know, you can, I can look at all sort of, the circumstances of what's going on in the world and um, my age and that kind of thing. But I'm also really trying to see, you know, if there's a deeper level that I can be more joyful, you know? Yeah. And when you say that, if there's a deeper level where I can be more joyful, what, what comes there? What comes here? Um, a little bit of a weight. Yeah, right, right. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I can s- sense some of that. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a weight and it's kind of like here or like. Yeah, it's, like? it's it's here and then it kind of swings around to the back part of my ribs, the whole mm. sort of mm. mid torso. So it kind of goes all the way around. Right? Yeah, yeah. And even in the sort of the solar plexus bit too. Mm. Mm-mm. And there's like a, an emotion that comes there. There's like a feeling that comes mm, there. Yeah. But what what's that like? That feels like a whole something. Um, well, that it starts there and maybe radiates out mm. or around. Mm. Um, and I don't know, just something came to mind when I was sort of thinking and feeling about it feeling it um, like it had been sort of left behind and not, you know, nurtured or given space for. Mm -hmm. Something about it being left behind and not given space or not being nurtured. And there feels something so nurturing in you actually saying that. It feels like there's Mm -hmm. something lovely and a a tenderness in that, noticing that. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So something that got left behind, that comes there. Mm. I mean, I think, hmm. I mean, conceptually there's um, a memory of um, when my um, stepdad took his life, my mom came to I was staying with some cousins so I could go to school so I was sort of separated during this whole huge trauma from them and Mm -hmm. she'd come to speak to me and I had already found out about it through my my cousins and they I had the principal had taken me home from school and I just remember she I think obviously she was in shock but I remember she just left me there and I just remember her leaving and thinking, oh, my God, I've lost my whole family. Mm. And being left behind. Um, and I'm wondering if part of this is sort of I'm leaving myself behind. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, now, mm-hmm. like I... Um, yeah. Right, so something about that whole memory... Is there's that like maybe a resonance with maybe I'm maybe I'm leaving myself behind just like mm. I felt left behind back then. Mm. But what 
what's that resonance like as you're kind of you've got like you've got a foot in both places um I don't know I'm sort of <laughs> thinking like, mm. you, you know that um what that meant from a memory which is very specific to me and painful um for me and maybe feeling that I sort of raced ahead in many ways in my life trying not to leave myself behind but in mm -hmm. maybe in fact I have a, or a part of me that sort of mm -hmm. vulnerable part and mm -hmm. and it's interesting because it felt um just it didn't feel stuck right then it sort of felt sort of elongated a little bit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, So it elongated a little bit there. Yeah. And it kind of shifted a little bit. Mm. What was, what's your sense of that shift as it elongated? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> it just felt, it just felt a little bit different. Yeah. Um, instead of sort of pooled here, it just felt, um, yeah, like it shifted longer. Um, Um, not so dense. Um, you just got this image of cooking <laughs> when the sauce gets too thick and you have to add water yeah, to yeah, sort yeah, of yeah. like loosen it up. That's yeah, what yeah. sort of came to mind. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> you can just feel that more space, mm. like more space between the molecules mm. or mm. there's something like more more spacious and the and the substance of it has changed mm. become a little lighter it's kind of interesting mm. so the elongating does it go deeper what happens in that elongating um i don't know it just felt it just felt like it shifted it was definitely long longer in terms of how I feel it in my body and I mean it feels a little newish mm. deep, that's deep that's actually really resonates like not mm. to stay still with emotion mm. like I'd either or do it so quickly that it, it didn't mm -hmm. you know I would acknowledge it or or part but I I it I didn't stay with it. Mm. It probably is. Mm. And sometimes not even, yeah. Right, so in a way it would kind of skim the surface of mm. it or just like a like a swallow, it would dip in and then come out yeah. again and then off it would be, and then yeah. off it would go. So that uh, that resonating with uh, and not staying with emotion or not staying long enough with emotion. But again, let's just check in what, what comes up here about that, that resonance. Staying with emotion. Um, yeah, just um, I'm just feeling it and allowing it. Mm. Mm. I think also the um, being patient with it and kind mm. with it and um, yeah mm. how, how is that as you're just being patient with it and being kind with it and... well there's a part of me and it feels like it's like in the back spine that wants to still get up and run and do mm. the thing like start get doing moving. things get moving <laughs> 
<laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's, just, it's interesting. Mm -mm. So it's like you've got both happening, is that right? Yeah. Because like, it really yeah. feels like there's just like this lovely kind of dawning going on. There's this lovely something going on as that's kind of being given space. Yeah. And the other one's saying, quick, <laughs> get out of here. Yeah. I, yeah. And it's like, or it's like just the like, like tapping on the door. <laughs> Before, just grab my hand and run. <laughs> but right. like, so. Interesting. How, how is it having both? Mm. Well, it feels um, nice to actually feel both and mm. and give space for it and say, "Oh, that's okay. I don't have to. Mm. I don't have to sink in one or do the other. Just." I don't have to do anything with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, right, you don't have to do anything with them, and it's just actually pretty cool to have both, to be able to be with both. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and what, what does that do inside, or what's that like inside, that just like that new kind of being with both and not having to do anything with either of them. I think it's vacillating <laughs> a little bit. Mm. Like, um, it sort of, it feels, okay, give, you know, just allow it, just allow it and be with both. And then there's this little bit of a fear that if I do that, um, I'll sink or something. I mean, I think that that's the mm. thing about doing mm -mm. the... the mm -mm. Let, let's give a little bit of room to that fear. So it's worried that it's gonna, you're going to sink? I, is that what it is? Yeah, or not be able to get up anymore. <laughs> like, you know, sort of that... Um, right. I'm, try, I'm trying to name it. I don't, you know... Mm. Um, Sink into the emotion or sink into yeah. the... Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like sink in and lose yourself or sink in and get stuck down there? What's the... Fear? Maybe both. Maybe a little bit of stuck. Mm. Uh-huh. Um, I think... Um, I think part of that is if, you know, if I allow to feel my sadness or my depression too much, you know, you know, will I be like my stepdad? Mm. Um, you know, is that, is that like, will that happen to me mm. if I allow my grief to be, mm. do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. you know, um, yeah. or I won't be able to get out or I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that that's, that's, sounds very natural that there would be that, that fear there. Mm -mm. It's such mm -hmm. a big trauma of, of losing them in that, mm -hmm. you know, in that way that, that 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 would be the fear at the bottom or it would be in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But maybe let's check that out. <clears throat> so there's that fear that if you sink down, that it could be catastrophic mm. in some kind of way. Right, yeah. Let's just check that out. Um, Something really big and bad would happen. Hmm. And part of it, too, is... Um, maybe it's also about forgiving and, um, like getting beyond the anger and just like understanding that we all have 
these emotions and they can be sad and depressed and people do different things with them. Mm -mm. In that fear, like they're really going into that fear that if you go with your emotion, you're going to sink. Actually, what you find is something about forgiveness. And that we all have these emotions and we just do different things with them. Mm. And I guess at that sort of deeper level, it's, um, I don't have to find answers for it for their, mm. what happened, I, mm. you know, it's, uh, or even, you know, try to understand it conceptually, just that mm. it's, um, yeah. Right, right, the people are such, so mysterious, they're such universes unto themselves. But in that kind of realization and in that forgiveness, it's like, well, that's not your path. Mm. You know, you're, you're, you going into that emotion, that doesn't happen to you. Mm. Something else happens to you. Or something like that. Mm. So feeling how you're different, then it's a mystery there, but you're, there's a difference there in how you are with your deep emotion. Mm. You just check that. Is that does that feel? Mm. What, what is it that's there? Um, mm. I think, um, like, um, what people, it's, it's interesting about what people say about, like, suicide and other things about, oh, how could they do that, or why, and this is we're going back to, is that their uni sort of universes and lives into their own, but it's also, I feel like, uh, it's not even understand, like it's, um, I empathize, I can be compassionate with that, um, those deep sad and, um, sort of depressed states of mind because I, I'm allowing myself now to sort of go and feel those because they're mm. a part of me as mm. well. Mm. And, um, but I know, um, even though that sort of scares me, that there's something that, um, you know, I do reach out to people. I do want life. I want to find joy. I want, you know, I, there's, um, yeah. um, yeah. Mm. Let's just touch it again. It's there. Mm. Besides my gurgly stomach. <laughs> um, I do feel um, more grounded, and it's interesting. I feel like I really feel the weight 
of like my bottom part on this chair and I actually feel my whole spine against the back of the chair right now. Mm, 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 mm. Very grounded, really present, mm. really there. Mm. So let's feel that very kind of grounded and present and, and how about in, in here? Um, just more, it just feels more, uh, more still. Um, just getting the image of a, you know, a lake when it's just like, Really, really still. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it, it feels so... Um, it's just so interesting to feel the, like, oh, the body does this high alert stuff, like just being aware of when, like those states. And right now, um, knowing that I can come back um, mm. Here. Mm. I think it's sort of what we spoke about, about having both things. I, I think um, at the same time I feel very grounded. Um, And more steady and um, like the um, like I feel like the all of the other things like joy and all of these things can sort of arise out of this sort of state where I am right now. Mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, Mm. Right, so it's not about being joyous. It's about going to a place where the grief and the sadness can be allowed mm. and that something catastrophic isn't going to happen and you're not going to disappear down there. And just like being in that and letting mm. the awareness hold it. Mm. And then it's like a dropping all the way down into your body and all, all the way down into your feeling body. Mm. And then, ah, right from that place like this tranquil of lake actually uh, this is where it all arises from whether it's mm -hmm. joy or whether it's grief whatever it is like this is this is the ground where it arises from mm. mm -hmm. does that feel right did mm -hmm. i say that right yeah And it's, it's uh, kind of cool because before in my meditations, I've had like these glimpses of this, but it's very, it's much more ethereal and kind and, mm. and wonderful. But it feels very grounded in my body in really a different grounded. way. Yeah. yeah.